Damn, Pebbles. What's going on, buddy? You got a respiratory infection, don't you? See that snot coming out of his nose? To me is a um, telltale sign that he's starting or already has a respiratory infection. Doesn't look terrible at this point. Um, just starting to ooze out now. I didn't notice it yesterday and, and I would have yesterday. I think um, the last two days of this cold and wet we've had have kind of started to irritate his uh, respiratory system a little bit. And I just noticed that his heat lamp in his dilapidated doghouse that he has remodeled and destroyed is uh, burnt out. Must have just burnt out within the last week or so. So he hasn't been getting the proper heat and it's been a little moist and um, we, we need to get him taken care of and get, get him back to health, so. Ready? I think so. Let's do it. A lot of stuff we try to do ourselves here at home, but I don't have a whole bunch of experience taking care of these tortoises, um, at least for when they have infections and different things like that. I don't know if you just give them an antibiotic or, or what exactly you do. So we're gonna get him, take him to the vet and uh, sit down with a professional, have her show us kind of what to do and uh, get him fixed up and kind of teach us so we know for next time. You know, um, normally taking an animal to the vet is, is a walk in the park for us. It's just another day on the job. But this freaking tortoise is damn near 100 pounds. He don't listen, he fights with you, and he's real awkward weight. So um, this ain't gonna be easy, son. Break my box. Oh my goodness. Break my box, buddy. Good boy. Go. Here, Peps. Good boy, Peps. A little hibiscus for the road. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, so once I gave myself a hernia and got him in the box, Allie's gonna help me pick him up and load him in the truck. We're uh we're struggling a little bit over here. Good boy, man. Good boy, buddy. Hey, Otto. You thought taking your dog to the vet was tough. Try a 100 pound, 45 year old tortoise, son. All right, put him in the house. We got to go, baby. We are running late. All right, we got Pebbles loaded up, ready to go. But before we leave, I gotta release this raccoon real quick. And uh, this guy I'm actually gonna let, let out here at my house. Um, we butt up against thousands of acres and have plenty of land behind us. And I have enough land here on my property to, to let him kind of roam and stay out of trouble. So we're gonna go ahead and let him go. While I was working iguanas, I had Allie go and pick up this coon for me. And boy, oh boy, is this thing, this thing has an attitude, son. Ripped my handle off and everything. Goodness gracious. I told you he was oh, I know it. A big old mean boar coon. I'm gonna quickly release him before we go, and uh, that way I don't gotta worry about him when we get back. Running late as hell, but I gotta get this guy released. I don't want him sitting in that truck in the cage while we're gone. No, buddy, just don't attack me, please. Don't attack me, please. Go, 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 go. <laughs> right. See ya. You got old Pebbles in the back, loaded up in a damn cargo crate. He's pissed off. He ain't happy, but Allie grabbed him some uh, hibiscus, so he's in there chowing down. And uh, we're hauling ass, trying to get there. We're running late, but hopefully they're not too mad at us. All right, y'all, here we are. Waiting for Allie to finish this paperwork and for the doctor to be able to see us. And then we're taking old pebbles here in there. And gonna get them all fixed up. 
I save anywhere from like what? His weight. Uh, we've we've always said a hundred pounds, but I don't know truly what he weighs. He's definitely heavy. Here, I'll look. Here. Can we just put this box on there? No. Oh, no. Okay. I'd say maybe 80 pounds. No, he's almost 100. We, we've been saying true. You want back on there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pebbles. Oh, and I don't have any here. I got a leaf in here. The doc wanted him to get back on, and that just was not happening. Pebbles was over it. Come on, Baba. Pebbles. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I got. Look at that. Yeah, 92. Yeah, I was calling it. Where do you want it? Back in the box? Son, Pebbles needs to go on a diet. <laughs> Got Pebbles in, 92 pounds, and we felt every single pound there. Good work, Alan, good work. Whew. Getting in these doors, it's just about as tough as carrying it. Have a catty corner our way in, but we got it done. I mean, it's the biggest <laughs> part that I've seen by far. I mean, you see a lot of them, but... It's the biggest. Yeah, these by a long shot. I mean, the biggest one I've seen, I think, was like 65 pounds. Oh, man, Pebbles. Oh, Pebbles. <laughs> Record breaker, son. Allie kept Pebbles happy with some flowers while we were waiting, and uh, the doc said he's the biggest tortoise they've ever had in there, which, you know, that makes old Trapper Mike proud. Got Pebbles all set up on his little pedestal here. Make them easier to work on. And we got some injections to do. Yeah, good boy. I know, Pebbles, this sucks. We'll get you out of here in no time, buddy. Look how cute you are. So the vet did say that Pebbles has a respiratory infection. So Pebbles is gonna need some shots and some fluids pumped into his body, which is not gonna be easy. You know, these tortoises don't know what's going on and he thinks we're trying to hurt him or stress him out a little bit and he's gonna wanna suck back in that shell. We gotta keep him out of that shell, um, especially with needles and different things like that. And his skin is just ridiculously thick, y'all. It is so hard to puncture it and get down in there where you can actually push the fluids in. Just didn't squirt when it was in him. Crazy, of course. We have that problem yeah. sometimes when we're trying to do kind of selling. Oh. Okay, buddy, come on. Oh, no. oh, okay, now pull back. Don't come, don't leave me. Stay here. Pull back. Oh, it's moving. It's harder, yeah. harder, harder, harder. You got it. You got a bubble. Hard as you can go. Keep going. 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 It's just his skin is tough. That's what it is. Good job, Good job. I know. Oh, yes. Me and Allie are tugging on his arms, trying to keep his head out. I mean, it's a little ridiculous, but it's the only thing we can do, you know? We got to do what we got to do. And uh, right now, we are full blown wrestling with a 100 pound tortoise. You almost got it. Amazing. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, we're almost there. Hey, check it. Almost there, it's a little bit more. Go, 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 move away. Because you'll pull it right out. Short. That's it. That's it. Do you want to try more? Beautiful. Whew. It was not easy, but we got Pebbles all set up, good to go. Getting them back home where we can continue to take care of them and get them back to health. And uh, man, oh man, I'm not going to look forward if there's a next time. All right, to give y'all a little update on Pebble, he's doing great, back to health, respiratory infection is cleared out. We actually set him up with uh, a covered roof, a better enclosure, and uh, got him a little better set up to keep him healthy. 
Uh, we have a special tortoise diet we give them now. And um, things are really looking better for old Pebbles. What you doing, Pebs? Look at you. Look at this nice little roof you got. Your little tortoise house. Beware, y'all. Guard tortoise on duty. Old Pebbles will mess you up. Ain't that right? <laughs>